Hi everyone, welcome to Library Land. It's Miss Solari here. This is our third episode of Spring Into Steam. And today we're gonna to demonstrate how to blow up a balloon all on its own. So what we're going to need is an empty, clean water bottle, some regular white vinegar, you should be able to find at home, baking soda, a measuring glass or cup, a plastic balloon, and a funnel. What we're going to first start to do is we're gonna measure our vinegar carefully using our measuring cup. We're gonna measure about 50 milliliters or for anyone who bakes about a quarter of a cup. We're gonna measure it carefully and we're gonna slowly pour it into our bottle. Our next step, you might want to ask an adult to help you. What I did was I took a balloon and I carefully placed the opening on the funnel. This is going to help catch our baking soda when we pour it into the balloon. So you might want to hold it, the funnel, by the handle. And carefully, you're going to measure two teaspoons. You're going to want to shake it and tap it in of baking soda into the balloon. And now our second teaspoon. Got a little stuck there, that's okay. And now comes the really exciting and fun part. We're gonna see what happens when we add the baking soda to the vinegar. As we know, baking soda is a solid, it's white, it's powdery. Vinegar is a liquid, and when we add these two together, there should be a reaction that is gonna create a gas to help us blow the balloon. So all our baking soda is in the balloon. We're gonna carefully pour it in and watch. And just like that, boys and girls, we have a self-inflating balloon. What happened was that the vinegar and the baking soda reacted to make a gas called carbon dioxide. And we have carbon dioxide all around us here on Earth. Try to do this experiment at home. Maybe add more vinegar or more baking soda or less. Send all your submissions to the library website on Facebook. We look forward to seeing you. This is Miss Slurry signing off from Library Land. Bye-bye.